Well, we're downtown here at the Discovery Theater, and they're putting on a very special production of A Christmas Carol. So we're going to speak to a couple of the people involved in the production and maybe a word with Scrooge. Let's go inside and have a look. A Christmas Carol is really the best theatrical example we have of uh, the meaning of Christmas. Uh, Dickens was a talented soul. Once we thought, let's bring a Christmas Carol to Anchorage, we looked at a lot of the versions that are out there to license, and there are many, many of them. But it did seem like a way to uh, support some writers that we believe in, one of whom lives here, instead of paying royalties to somebody that we don't know. And it was really fun to go back to the original material and create a very true to the book adaptation. All of those characters that you're going to see on stage, we know all of those characters. They're not just these t stereotypes that he created. They are living people walking among us. We all know Scrooges. We all know young Scrooges and, and young Dicks. And we all know Fezziwigs. And uh, just to, to work on them, and when I, when I started creating some lines for them, that was sort of my, my inspiration. You know, this is the story of redemption. It's not necessarily the story of Scrooge. Scrooge just happens to be that person who embodies the very worst of what we can be. But as uplifting as it is, Scrooge's redemption means that much more to us to allow us to understand that uh, if it can happen to Scrooge, it can happen to us. So it opens Friday, December 19th, and it's a short run. It closes the Sunday after Christmas, which I believe is December 28th. It's in the Discovery Theater at the Performing Arts Center downtown, and tickets are at ptalaska.org or 263arts. Well, be sure to get down here to see this, uh, what looks like a remarkable production of A Christmas Carol here at the Discovery Theater. And also around town, uh, Christmas Bells at ACT and Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day at Cyrano's run Thursday through Sunday. And they're both closing this weekend. Now these shows are selling out and Cyrano's has even added an extra show for Monday. To get more information and to book tickets, go to centertix.net for either of these shows. Also, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is playing Friday and Saturday for their last performances, and that's uh, from uh, TBA Theater. So go to their website at tbatheater.org for tickets and information. Uh, this is pretty much wrapping up the holiday shows around town, so uh, get out and have some fun and um, enjoy the holiday season. I'm Ron Holmstrom, and I'll see you around at all the fun stuff.